Hello and welcome back to this series of videos where we are trying to approach some of the best practices and methodologies designed to manage in supply chain and uh, in this particular video we are going to see what reorder point policy is. So previously if we had determined the load size through UQ, economic order quantity, now the question that arises is when should we order? When do we actually have to place the order is the question to which we are going to give an answer in this session. So when we place an order there is usually a period of time that it takes from the time we place the order and the time when it's effectively received and that's known as lead time. In the meanwhile, the amount of inventory we use during this uh, period of time which elapses between placing the order and receiving it is known as lead time demand, abbreviated as LTD. Uh, and if we were to express reorder point uh, in the most simplistic of terms, the reorder point policy would be just equal to lead time demand, which is the amount we use from the time we place the order to the time it's received. And uh, if we look at it graphically, we can see that Q is the amount we start off and as we are consuming it, we reach the point which were determined as reorder level. So when the stock reaches this point, we place the order. The supplier lead time later the order is delivered. We have predetermined the reorder quantity and we stop moves from this level to here. And then the cycle repeats itself. And when it reaches the reorder point again, the next order is, re is uh, replaced to replenish the inventories. But actually what happens if the demand varies, which is usually the case, we want to keep extra inventory in hand as safety stock, which is uh, incorporated to compensate the risk of delays in delivery if the supplier is not delivering on time or demand variations. Therefore, the reorder is no longer just the lead time demand, it's uh, the lead time demand plus the safety stock. The graphic will then change. Instead of a smooth demand, it oscillates and varies because we are not sure uh, how much is going to be used at any given point. We still have a lead time and that's why we have an expected lead time demand, how much we think we are going to use between that period that uh, separates uh, placing the order and its reception. But notice we don't let it go all the way down to zero. Instead, we have that red line there and that's our safety stock. When we add the safety stock to the expected lead time demand, we'll have a different reorder point uh, policy. And it is way too different than just a basic expected lead time demand. It's equal to uh, lead time demand plus safety stock. And the safety stock is very important and it is composed from two components, safety factor and standard deviation. The formula is going to be safety stock equals to safety factor times standard deviation. Safety stock is a coefficient related to the uh, customer service level and it is defined through marginal analysis and we can use Excel function uh, norm uh, inverse to convert uh, service level percentage to service factor. Um, and the standard deviation is a measure of the variation of our customer demand. So what we are going to do next time is that we are going to uh, come with an exercise to practice what we have seen until now. Thank you and see you then.